And before we continue on, I do want to read you guys something. Okay, let me give you a link. I'm going to read you a few paragraphs. Okay, a uh, few of the last paragraphs of an article that I wrote in 2014. And I titled this article, what did I title this article? I titled this article, Synopsis of, of Our Present Predicament, What the Future Holds, A Final Word. And I wrote this in 2014, okay? And it's a long piece. Sort of I took parts from other articles that I've been writing. And here's the link. And basically for me, I, I started blogging about politics in 2005, 2006, because I could see where we were going, which was global warfare, or war, war. And I really didn't want to go there. Who wants to be in a global war, right? It's insanity. It's, I mean, the only people that want to be there are the psychopaths, right? And I wrote this because from 2005 2006 i wrote a lot of articles in addition to making starting making math videos in 2007 right i wrote a lot of articles and in 2014 i sort of said okay i've said what i need to be said i've given the warning i've compiled the information this is where we are if we don't wise up this is where we're going so i'm going to read you the last little part of this article okay uh jalan chicho what do you think about the multiple objects being shot down i think it's carrots dangling distraction to this okay two digital currencies being rolled out right two provinces in canada already said no right two provinces in canada already said no let me read you these last few paragraphs i wrote and you can read the whole article and i'll link it in the description of the video once this live stream is uploaded to the other platforms okay so starting off towards the bottom of the article coding okay the article myself i guess if we only appreciated and understood what it meant when we were told that war is a racket and that all wars are bankers wars quote war is a racket it has it always has been it is possibly the oldest easily the most profitable surely the most vicious it is only it is the only one international in scope it is the only one in which the profits are reckoned in dollars and the losses in lives end quote and this is general smetley butler wars or racket okay and i we did a full reading of this book and i put a little bit of the mathematics on there what general smetley butler was saying and i link up the video in the bottom of this paragraph and the additional paragraph in this is this additional information and quotes about about and from general smedley butler available at general smedley butler quotes of war patriotism and more okay and then i link up the video <laughs> the article continues back to quoting myself <coughs> collect collectively quote collectively we have been lulled into obedience become selfish and self-centered delusional sadistic beings beings fearing our own shadows and totally out of touch with reality our collective ignorance is what our governments have banked on that the severity of our stupidity will hold will hold steadfast as they commit genocides and collapse 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 economies unfortunately so far they have been brilliant tacticians since psychopaths still govern our daily lives and corporations continue to convince us to consume what we do not need or so is the doctrine of compliance that they they are trying to instill upon us and then i quote someone in this and quote somebody else now okay to make visible the invisible war tikhan argues that like the young girl archetype we are commodities commodities products and agents of capital caught in an invisible war in which we are our own oppressors end quote okay. i continue the article quoting myself now when i think of all this and more the only fathomable excuse that comes to 
mind as to why we have forfeited so much the only words that bring me comfort regarding our collective insanity comes from george carlin pointing out that the cause of our ills is because half of humanity is dumber than the average person and then quoting carlin think of how stupid the average person is and realize half of them are stupider than that that's a george carlin quote i continue why george carlin's words bring me comfort is because they imply that the problem has a solution education hence my work on mathematics the alternative that we are aware of our history and are indifferent to it is unthinkable since i have no desire to document the play-by-play -play symphony of carnage that is being unleashed and is to come and since i have said what needed to be said or as aaron Dottie roy would say quoting aaron Dottie roy i feel that i don't have anything direct to say without repeating myself end quote we'll consider this post to be the introduction to politics on chicho and it will be the last strictly geopolitical discussion we have on this site for quite some time at least until russia china iran or another formidable enemy of our choosing or making is duped into directly confronting nato or until the next major false flag operation sends the world into a frenzy if you have any questions or concerns please feel free to send me a message or post a comment you you can find additional information in the politics and economics sections of the table of content some of the more prop popular posts can be found in the right hand column of the site peace chicho okay why am i reading this the reason i'm reading this is because my warning was triggered okay russia was forced into confronting nato in ukraine and that's a worst case scenario really from what i was laying out okay in 2014 it was clear that that's the direction nato the western governments western world was going in because of the coup in ukraine that the coup in ukraine really triggered it it shows where where they were going with it right the nato backed coup in ukraine that really is the catalyst that has brought us to this point okay i just wanted to read that uh just in case people haven't seen it before heard me say it before haven't read that okay evil told what are you doing other god quote in short the main problem with our society is that our education system is designed to instill obedience and it has done so extremely well we have willingly consumed uh consumed propaganda to the point where our hypnosis has turned us into servants of totalitarian regimes and all god says love this part and that's a quote from the article i wrote right and that's the reason i really began not the reason i began but the reason i continue my work with mathematics i began making the math videos is because to help out a family member and i started getting feedback when i upload the videos people saying this is great so i continued that work and the reason i continue to make these educational videos is because george carlin told us what it's going to take half of humanity is dumber than the average person that's not fucking good we need to raise the education level of our societies in regards to mathematics economics politics history society everything everything especially 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 in canada the united states gang straight up i'm from here i've taught a lot of people um, interacted with a lot of people in regards to mathematics from the united states and canada our education system in these two countries is zero it is indoctrination it is garbage my recommendation to anyone that has children in school or you're thinking about putting your children in centralized indoctrination centers do not do it you're creating cannon fodder for the globalists okay don't do it it has completely collapsed okay 